The basic principle is simple. If you can create a steel that has a microstructure with a grain size in the nanometer realm, you get really unique properties. The challenge has been that while people could do that, every time they did it, for the most part, they achieved a steel that had really interesting strength, but no ductility, uh, essentially very brittle. So what's taken 18 years is that development, creating a steel that had those nanostructures, but also had elongation or ductility to it. We're not making a coating anymore, we're making a sheet steel, or a slab, or a thin slab, or call it what you want. Uh, the, the basic idea, though, is that all they're doing is process optimization to make sure that given our alloys, they can actually run their system continuous. We're not looking for them to add steps. We're not asking for different hot roll steps or cold roll steps or heat treats. In fact, with our steels, one of the benefits is you don't need all that post-process, that post-heat treating processes. Uh, you get the structures we want pretty much right out of the oven, no pun intended. We're not talking about adding exotic materials. We're not talking about adding rare earths. We're talking about taking ratios that people just haven't seen before of materials or, or constituents that they already use. All the trials we're doing are in an EAF with scrap. Uh, so that's, again, one of those things that we use as a mantra. If you, if you develop something that is so unique that it can't be used in a commercial environment, it doesn't do anyone any good. And so what we focus on is making sure our alloys are robust enough that you can use an EAF, you can use scrap, because that's the way you keep costs down. High strength steels, a lot of them have multiple heat treat cycles post actual creation of the steel. We don't need to do that. We're looking at a process where with maybe one hot roll step uh, and maybe one simple heat treat step, you're done. You have the structures you want. And that's really why we're doing that heat treat or that hot roll, is to uh, create the, the microstructures and that give it that final boost of property performance to get it to the place where people need it to be. Now, having said that, it can be cold rolled. I mean, because at the end of the day, you need gauges that the car company wants, or the auto company wants. So we will roll it down to the gauges they want. Uh, and that's, that's not an issue for us. The key is that it all comes down to how much processing you need to do. And whether it be at the plant, the steel plant, before you deliver the material, or at delivery, when someone needs to, for instance, take a steel and hot form it, so they, gotta, they have to expend that time and that energy to get it to temperature before they can shape it, we can eliminate that as well. So we are, we're at the point now where we're probably a few months away from delivering our first coils for validation. And then we start that validation process. So we're getting close.